Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. Most of this came from Dollar Tree. This is Rex. This is our dog. He's a miniature pincher. You gonna go somewhere else? Okay. So I'm going to be sharing with you what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. I know not everybody gets their kids stuff for Valentine's Day, but it's something that my mom always did, and it's not like a lot. It's just a little bit. I like to pick up things for like Valentine's Day and Easter, usually at the Dollar Tree, but I don't like to get like the stuff that's specifically for Valentine's Day and stuff, like the little things that they have, like basically trash, um, like necklaces and stuff like that, like stuff that the that they're not really going to use or enjoy. I don't like to buy them a bunch of stuff like that. I'd rather buy them things that they need or things that I know that they will really enjoy. And I still like to do it on a budget. So one thing that I did get them was not from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to share that with you first and then everything else is from Dollar Tree. So if you are not using Fetch Rewards, you should. This isn't sponsored, but I like free stuff. And with Fetch Rewards, all you have to do is like take a picture of your receipt. This is one of my Dollar Tree receipts. And then they give you points. Usually, you get at least 25 points for every receipt. Uh, I think 1,000 points is $1. So I've been able to cash out almost $200 through Fetch Rewards, thanks to you guys signing up and me just scanning my receipts. So I actually used a $10 gift card on these cups that I bought for the kids. I had to throw away some of their like, double wall tumblers because they were coming apart. And so I wanted to replace them for Valentine's Day and get them new ones. These were $20, but like I said, I had a $10 gift card, so I ended up only paying $10. These are from the brand Cupkin, and they're just, they're like really small, they look. But they're the perfect size for little kids. Um, my kids are six and, well, almost six and four, and I think these are just going to be perfect for them. They have this little lid and it can close and they can drink it like that or it comes with a little silicone straw it's got a lid it's stainless steel with a powder coat on it this one is blue and then this one's like a turquoise a minty color so they'll go back and forth they'll share the two I thought these were, were a good color set for them and so yeah they each get one of them I think they're eight ounces and the biggest thing these are dishwasher safe some stainless steel cups don't say that they're dishwasher safe, they say hand wash only, and I ain't got time for that. I already have enough things to hand wash, like all my pots and pans, so I would much prefer to have something that is hand wash, or that is dishwasher safe. So I got these, and as I said, $20, and they are on Amazon, and they are prime, so if you look, go now, you could still get them before Valentine's Day. Okay, I always try to keep everything even for them, like kind of get them similar items so I got them each two toys I found these Polly Pocket their necklaces and Lily has really been into Polly Pockets so this one is shaped like a pizza and then I found another one this one is shaped like an ice cream so like I said these were from Dollar Tree and then for Elijah's two toys he got some matchbox cars he got this little jeep truck and this what is this some sort of, oh, it says load lifter. So he's obsessed with Matchbox and Hot Wheels and stuff. Do not pay attention to my nails. My nails are horrible. Uh, I really need to do them, but the kids are gone, so I'm trying to get this filmed while they're gone, and I can do my nails later. Okay, they both needed a, a new pair of sunglasses, so I picked up these green ones for Elijah, and these pink heart ones for Lily. And Elijah's been needing some new socks, so I saw all these cute socks. They didn't have any cute ones for girls, but Lily also does not need any socks. She has tons of socks. So Elijah got Mario and a little Buzz Lightyear ones. And then since she didn't need socks, I got her hair stuff instead. So she got some scrunchies, a three-pack of scrunchies, and an Elsa bow headband. And then they each got a little notebook journal thing. Found a unicorn one for Lily. And this sloth one that says hang in there for Elijah. And they each got a new placemat. So Lily got one with the princesses on it. And Elijah got a Spider-Man one.
And then I usually don't do a lot of candy for Valentine's Day because, like, they still have candy somewhere from Christmas. I try not to let them eat too much candy, but also they don't usually end up eating half the stuff they get for Halloween or Christmas. They, they want it a lot, like, immediately right after, and then they just start to kind of forget about it. So I just bought them two things that I knew that they would like. They love Sour Patch Kids. So I got the Sour Patch Conversation Hearts candy, so they'll each get two boxes of that. And then the hashtag Selfie Lip Pops Lollipops. So they're the fun ones that make you look like you have those big plastic lips. So they love lollipops, so I thought that these would be good. So I think there's four in there. Yeah, so they'll each get two of those as well. And then I'm going to put all that stuff in these gift bags from Dollar Tree. The placemat won't really fit, it'll just be like sticking out of the top, but Dollar Tree is where I go for gift bags and cards. I have cards, but I didn't get the kids' cards. I got cards for my brother and my sister, one for Andy from the kids, and then one for Andy from myself. So $4 on cards, you can't beat it because you go to Target or something or Walmart, it's $4 just for one card. And then... I bought a love balloon. I thought this was really cute. You blow it up with this straw in the back. And I figured I could just put that on the kitchen table with their Valentine's Day presents. Like the night before Valentine's Day. And then they'll wake up and see that. And then these little foam conversation heart stickers. I'm just going to use them as like a table scatter. And put them on the kitchen table as well. And that is it pretty much all from Dollar Tree. If they wouldn't have needed cups, it would have just all been from Dollar Tree. That's just how I like to do it. Super cheap, on a budget, and it's all stuff that they will actually use and enjoy, which is how I like to keep it, not a bunch of Dollar Tree junk. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope this helped some of you out so you can kind of go get your Valentine's Day shopping done. Usually I have it done like earlier, but I think because I don't have a car like lately, I just kind of like forgot like kind of just like didn't think to do it and then I was like oh crap I should do that and like post a video like I need to get on that because usually I post one I think I posted one I know I posted one last year I don't know if I posted one the year before but it's fun to share with you guys and let me know in the comments down below if you get your kids anything for Valentine's Day if you do do you buy stuff from Dollar Tree? Do you buy like one big thing? Like what do you get your kids for Valentine's Day? Just candy, toys, what? I'd like to know down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.